Hello guys and welcome back to our Arizona Adventure Park. We are in episode, let me lie, is it seven? I think it is seven, episode number seven and we are going to build um, again in our Big Cat Canyon. But I decided we have to change the name. It's not the Big Cat Canyon anymore because uh, the only Big Cat we have in this canyon is uh, the Bengal Tiger right now. And also the cat we are building for in today's episode is, well, the most not Big Cat that we already have in this game. And um, yeah, we are going to build for our first animal from the European DLC. We're going to build for the Eurasian Lynx. Um, but first of all, as you can see, um, I'm going to um, create some some kind of a ramp for our visitors um, to walk out of this canyon. Uh, once again, I think I already showed that to you. I use this uh, stamp tool for um, creating these, uh, this kind of ramp for our visitors that's the easiest way you can uh, you can build something like that and um, put your path around it um, yeah just just try it out it's it's very very easy and you don't have um, this um, these elevated paths with uh, yeah with with the annoying support structure so that's um, why I almost uh, built all my paths um, on the terrain and not use elevated paths um, when I'm not going to build some kind of a bridge or something like that because uh, that's the only thing you you really have to use those elevated paths. Yeah, so um, uh, what we are going to do today, um, like I told you, we are going to build um, a small habitat for our lynx. Um, we are not going to build this today, but uh, we are going to build uh, this um, in one of the next episodes. We are also going to build... Um, a restaurant down here because our visitors really 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 need some food and some drinks and so I thought we are going to create a, a restaurant here um, which the visitors can enter on the lower level of the canyon and um, they also can leave the restaurant on the upper end of the canyon um, where we are going to build some kind of a, of a terrace for our visitors yeah but that's going to happen in the next or in one of our next episodes and we also might include some uh, staff buildings in that restaurant so what i'm going to do at first here um, is um, we are going to put down the fence um, for our habitat for the lynx. Um, yeah, that's usually something that I do in a later stage, but I thought um, just to see how big that habitat is going to be. And in that stage where I'm building this, um, I even didn't know for what animal I was going to build it. But then I thought, okay, this is going to be a, a pretty small habitat and what kind of small cats do we have in the game? And uh, there was only one option and that was the lynx. And I have to admit, even for the lynx, um, the habitat is a tiny bit too uh, small but um, yeah it's in the yellow area so I think it is uh, it is still okay it is not perfect but it is okay yeah. um, we're also going to have a little um, yeah a little kind of cave 
in the habitat because I thought that would look nice and I don't want it to um, integrate a building in here where the lynx can go inside and um, have a shelter um, because all of the animals um, do need a hard shelter and um, so I decided I'm going to give them some hard shelter in form of this uh, this kind of cave and make, uh, and make it look uh, yeah pretty natural um, also another thing I uh, am going to do in this video or I wanted to do in this video I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about mental health because um, yeah you already know where I have been the last few weeks and um, you told me that you would be interested in, in uh, some stuff um, what I experienced in the last few weeks and um, yeah what I what I learned so I'm not um, going to go into that um, all too deep but um, yeah just to give you a little insight of what was happening yeah first of all i think um, mental health is a uh, is a very big um, issue or a very important um, thing in today's day and time because many people struggle um, for mental health reasons and um, that's quite obvious because of the uh, the whole situation with uh, with the coronavirus and um, uh, the way our our society is um, yeah our society had become in the last um, years because everything we experience every day is um, no matter where you are it might be in the job or on social media with friends and uh, when you go out and uh, everything everything has to be bigger better faster uh, more expensive more beautiful you have to be taller and slimmer and more beautiful and um, yeah so there's no wonder that people struggle because that's uh, that's the thing you learn even as a small child you grow up with uh, with all of this bullshit um, and that was also um, a problem for me it still is a problem and is always going to be a problem um, I suffer from depression and I also suffer from um, a burnout first of all um, I know that I will have to live with depression i know that um, it won't go away um, but that's not a bad thing um, a sure depression is not a, not a nice thing to have but um, you can live with it you can live with it and you can learn how to live with it so um, that um, practically is um, exactly the thing that I learned um, in the facility where I have been. I um, shouldn't call it facility. Facility sounds a little, um, yeah, a little like a uh, straight jacket and something like that. And it, it definitely wasn't that way. Um, yeah, it was. It was a clinic. Um, yeah, um, as I said, I learned to um, live with it and uh, I also learned to accept some things. So um, you might have days where, uh, where you are not in your best place, you are not happy, you are, you are very, very sad and you are in a dark place and um, yeah, and it's okay to feel that way sometimes the world doesn't end just because you feel this way um, the world will still um, uh, rotate and uh, life goes on um, but that's not the most important thing that I um, that I discovered and I uh, learned or I still learn um, to cope with um, 
the most important thing that I learned is um, I always had the feeling that I lost myself a little bit. Um, no, that's that's not correct. Not a little bit, uh, but completely. Um, I didn't know who I was, what I wanted, and um, what I was expecting from life. So that was a huge part, and um, I always thought that I need to find happiness and uh, my luck and everything um, in, in different places that I can't um, be happy at home, that I can't be happy in my job, that I um, can't be happy in Germany, that I can't be happy with all the things that I do and I need something new and I need something that fulfills me and um, yeah. But the most important thing that I learned is um, there was a day I uh, I was going for a walk. Um, I was in a beautiful area in uh, in Bavaria near uh, the Alps and um, on a big um, big lake. And um, yeah, I was I was going for a walk, and um, I had this one moment where suddenly everything became so clear. And I think that's uh, that's some kind of a truth that works for uh, for everyone. Um, it became clear to me that I don't need a place or uh, or something material to to be happy because um, everything I need for this um, the rainbow that I was chasing for all the time um, is inside of me and it always has been there I just was too blind to see it. I just forgot about it. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's uh, something that is really, really important. Um, you don't... Um, you don't have to forget who you are and what makes you happy and you don't need to search for that so hard because everything you need is already there it is you you have to be um, you have to accept yourself and you also have to learn to love yourself and um, if you do that and if you are able to do that you will be in such a better place and um, yeah luckily that's uh, that's the place where I am in right now and um, yeah I'm very very happy about that and also some uh, important thing um, it's a tiny thing but it makes such a big difference um, my therapist um, always said to me when I uh, told him that I have to do some certain uh, certain things, that I have to go somewhere, that I have to, um, yeah, don't say have to. Try to not say I have to do this, I have to do that. Because first of all, you don't have to do things it's always your decision you can do things you want to do things but you don't have to don't force yourself into that uh, by thinking you have to do things because um, every time you say that you have to do something um, it gives the whole thing a negative touch and you don't do it uh, with uh, with love and with passion so Try to avoid uh, the wo uh, the words "I have to." Um, it sounds very easy. It is easy indeed, but it makes such a big difference. And also, you can um, uh, very much trick your brain into feeling happier by um, by just smiling. Um, and that might sound weird, but um, if you put on a smile, even if you don't feel like smiling, you are not happy, you are angry or uh, you're sad or whatever, just put on a smile and you will notice 
that um, after after a few moments you feel much better because your brain believes you are happy just try it yeah um, yeah but I think that's uh, enough about mental health because um, in the end we're still playing Planet Zoo um, in the meantime watch you uh, saw was that I was going to build the lynx habitat we um, uh, yeah we changed the netting or the mesh fence and um, put in some glass because I thought it uh, it looks better when you when you can watch the animals through glass uh, and it gives you a clearer view to um, yeah to see the animals in their habitat so that's why I changed it um, now we're doing some cosmetic work and um, framing our uh, paths and uh, then we are going to do some decoration outside put down some plants and some stuff yeah as you um, also could see I uh, I was going um, yeah berserk with uh, with putting down um, a plant, um, especially shrubbery, and not many trees because um, the trees take away too much space of the habitat. So I decided to put down um, a lot of um, bushes and uh, grasses to make the habitat look uh, nice and give it a little more mountainy, more look. And I also put down um, a little pond with um, uh, some um, water features um, uh, to have a little bit uh, of, uh, of a movement in the habitat and make it look a little bit more different than um, everything else that we already did here in this cat canyon. Yeah, I'm also pretty excited for uh, for the next steps that we are going to do. I uh, noticed that we still have many, many, many cats uh, left in the game, um, especially many big cats. And um, we might not put every single big cat um, here in, uh, in the zoo or in this area especially. Um, that's what I told you in uh, in the last episodes already. Um, we are not going to build something for uh, for the snow leopards or for the um, damn it, what tiger is it? The Siberian tiger. Um, yeah, but I but I uh, want to include the lions. Um, I also want to um, have the cheetah. And um, yeah, and there was one more cat that I wanted to have in there. What cat am I missing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the jaguar. I also want to have the jaguar in here. Um, so we might do this on the upper level of the canyon that we might um, have some more habitats for uh, for the big cats um, but I also would like to know um, from you guys um, should we make a cat break um, at this moment are you tired of seeing cats um, do you want to see me build something else um, on another part of the zoo or do you say oh no just let's finish um, the Cat Canyon and uh, then we go on to another part of the zoo and build for some other animals. Just let me know in the comment section and um, yeah, we'll do that. I also uh, have some great ideas for um, a hippo habitat or for the African penguins. Um, that I want to put down here somewhere and um, also for some more of the uh, yeah of uh, the of the monkeys and the apes that's also something um, I'm looking forward to and uh, especially the monkeys and the apes um, I want to build more um, 
in the direction of the of the lemur islands so just let me uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what we should do next um, as I already told you in the next episode, we are definitely going to build um, the restaurant here. But um, after that episode, I'm yeah, I'm happy to to let you decide what you want to see. Yeah, so I'm filling some gaps in here with uh, with some of the fake rocks and the uh, yeah the plants. And um, I think then we are good to go to put the animals into their habitat. Uh, what I was going um, to do here in the meantime, I always got um, notifications that um, yeah, that my lemurs were, uh, were very hungry and were starving and um, uh, I couldn't believe it because um, everything seemed to be great. They had the feeders, the uh, the keepers could um, could come into their habitat. So I fixed that in the meantime, and uh, now no lemur would be starving ever in my zoo. Yeah, as you saw a few moments ago, um, I also fixed uh, the issue with the clouded leopard. Um, they can't escape the habitat anymore. And here we are, our first lynx Anastasia um, entered the habitat and uh, you already can see um, uh, the habitat is a little bit too small but it, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's okay, it's not the best but it, it is okay. Yeah, also some uh, fixing to make here. Um, uh, because as you could see our links are able to escape so um, I had to fix this as well and though I like the style of this uh, concrete walls on one side of the habitat that we also have in the um, uh, clouded leopard um, area I think I might do some kind of decoration there that this is not just a plain wall um, yeah just uh, I just don't feel it that much it's okay for me to have that wall um, because it looks uh, kind of realistic but um, yeah not too happy with that yeah, and with that being said, we're also um, at the end of the episode. Um, I hope you don't mind that I uh, talked that long about uh, mental health issues. Um, but I thought it, um, yeah, it is an, it is an important topic and I, I really wanted to tell you something about it. Um, so if you like that video, just leave a like, um, leave me a comment what you think about and what we are going, uh, what we should build next in our videos here. Um, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next episode. And um, with that being said, have a great time, have a nice day and um, watch the weird links. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>